Hello fanatic and uh, subscribers Thank you for being part of this uh, channel, part of this video, of course Part of this uh, blog, uh, vlog, to be precise And uh, it's another chance that uh, we are having to get some word on uh, how or the process you should uh, at least uh, take note of especially when you want to buy a good desktop computer factors to consider when buying a good or factors to consider in order to get the best desktop computer that uh, these computers desktop computers or PCs are items we are buying regularly yeah because we are using them so many times in our homes in the office at our businesses and uh, you find that it's not everyone who has adequate knowledge on how you can be able to get the best desktop computer that you will be able to rely on without getting problems that will give you a good return for your money a good service that you can appreciate while working with it and so to take care of this uh, uh, di di uh, difference to take care of this space to take care of this connection why where people are finding it hard to know what to do when you want to buy a computer a desktop computer and get the best that can serve you in your business in your office in your home for personal work it's the reason we have i have come up with this vlog to assist you to just get to know a few if not all of uh, factors that you can consider in order to get a good lap uh, a good uh, personal computer a good pc a good desktop computer that can serve you in your work and uh, factor number one that you should have in mind is your needs and budget your needs and budget and in the needs and budget, it's an important factor. At the time you decide that, uh, well, I want a desktop computer that I want to use in my home, in my house, in my office, in my business, to help me in running my activities, then it, 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 it's that need it's that need that makes you think, that makes you start planning, that makes you start budgeting on it as a factor. And so, in looking at the need, what you will uh, have to check is this. Yes, I want this desktop computer that I want to be using in my home, that I want to be using in my office, what will it be, be doing? Maybe it is for my secretary, for just entering records only. Maybe it is for my designer, because I am a printer, whom I want to be using it in the office to design my stuff. Maybe posters, maybe banners, maybe flyers, maybe books. And how big are these printouts, are these designs that I want to be making, you know? So for this matter, the need arises. Maybe it is a computer that I want to be using because I am a programmer, because I make applications. It's the one 
it's a computer I want to use for making my applications. And so this one makes you to think if it is for design, then I need to factor things like the graphics card. If it's for video editing, I need a good graphics card. If it is for programming, I want a machine that can be able um, uh, for programming to withstand some applications that are used for programming because maybe they are taking a lot of memory space, a lot of space, you know. If it is for just desk, uh, office desk, maybe front desk, it's just for data entry, then I just need a basic machine. I don't need a high graphics card machine. I don't need very big memory because after all, it's not design programs that I'm installing which takes a lot of memory and needs a lot of memory space in working and a lot of speed, you know? So the need then creates that, you know, uh, budget that you need to spend because for higher version, for higher quality, for higher processing specifications, then you will need to uh, think of a higher budget in buying. Yeah. So the need, one of the factors that you need to consider when you, are, you want to get the best desktop computer for your use is uh, your needs for the machine and the budget that you would want to spend on the machine. Basic computers can cost from around 10,000 Kenya shillings to 15,000 Kenya shillings. Higher version, for example, for graphics and design work can cost from uh, 25,000 Kenya shillings to uh, 30,000 Kenya shillings. While for video editing, because you need a high speed specification computer with a high memory, with a high disk, uh, um, disk space, for example, the hard disk, then you need from 30,000 to 40,000 Kenya shillings. And these are branded machines, refurbished. For new ones, be it basic or um, uh, for, for design work, you need to spend from 40,000 Kenya shillings to 50,000 Kenya shillings to get a good one. If it's for graphics and design work and video editing, you need to plan for from uh, 60,000 Kenya shillings to 70,000 or to 80,000 Kenya shillings to be get the best one. If you want to use a Macintosh, then you need to plan from 100,000 Kenya shillings upwards, up to 200,000 Kenya, uh, Kenya shillings for you to get the best machine or from 150 Kenya uh, um, thousand Kenya shillings to 300,000 Kenya shillings for best machines and especially Macbooks and Macintosh uh, version type of softwares. Number two, number two of the factors that we need to consider, number two is the processor. And because the processor, it is like the brain of the computer, it is that which is used to convert your data into information then you need to consider processor the processing speed depending on the work that you want to do so you will need a good a good processor if it is for example for design work so that need that reason why you want your machine will determine the processor that you will need for your machine. The central processing unit, that engine of the computer that is used to convert data into information. So the processor is very important. You need to know, do I need just an Intel machine? Do I need just an Intel processor? Or I need to get maybe a Core i5, maybe a Core i7, you know? Maybe a Pentium machine, depending on the need that you want to use the computer for so these are very the processor is very important determine or consider the processor depending on the work that you want to do with your machine that you want to buy and make sure that you get the best processor for the machine that you need to buy make sure that you check it before you get it out of the shop where you are buying it from and uh, for this matter by the way uh, I'm happy to let you know that I am providing a link down here at this video 
This link here is showing, or when you click on that link, it will open for you uh, a shop, our shop, a sure shop where I'm sure the properties of the machine that will be given there when you buy it is the right thing that will be getting there you will be getting what you buy so the link I'm giving there is a, a connection to a shop where you can buy genuine computers which you can be able to use without any problem these are machines I've, I have personal experience with as a technician because for myself I'm a senior technician and I know about machines I have experienced machines for quite long time more than 20 years and I have assure uh, I can assure you that the machines you'll get from clicking on this link down here are best machines that you can use for your own needs be it for office work be it for uh, design be it for programming you will get the best from the link that I'm provided down here at the description area of my video and also the first comment in this video I have also repeated that link there because it is also gives you a, a connection to a shop where you can be sure what you are buying is what you'll get in our machines down here which are in this link if you open and click on the machine that are there click just on one of the links for the machine that will find their computer that will find there it gives you all the descriptions of the machine properties uh, 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 disk space motor space motor uh, you know dpis that is dots per inch it describes you everything on the S sq area the description area of the machine so when you are buying it you need just a little bit of questions to answer from the seller yeah because all the other descriptions are down there and actually when you buy you can even buy it online because the information is there plenty for you and uh, you, it will be delivered to your home office or your workstation so number three of the points to consider when you want to get the best mach computer machine the best desktop computer for your use is the memory 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 comes in two uh, in two types we have random access memory ram which is the memory that holds or the mechanism that supports the work that you are doing at a particular time at the moment it is actually volatile you know it holds what you are doing at a particular time and before you save the work that you are doing it is just held temporarily by the ram so if that machine gets shut down if it gets powered off that work can get lost so until you save that work it is just supporting the mechanism that holds the work that you are doing at a particular time data that you are working on at a particular time number two we have rom read only memory this is the memory of the computer that uh, helps in uh, connections of the computer it is the one that supports uh, you know it is like the basic memory of the computer that keeps that data that is permanent in the computer that is using the computer to support itself to support itself so that it can be able to communicate within itself in rom is where we get a software we call bios basic input output system and basic input output system is that software that is used or that is used by the computer itself to be able to, to detect its parts it is the one that helps the machine to detect input devices like the keyboard like the mouse like the magnetic ink recognition uh, devices peripheral devices that are connected to it it is the one that helps to uh, to detect the memory it is the one that is used to detect the processor it is the one that is used to detect the display units like the monitor and another display that is used to give out information or output of the data that has been processed then uh, ram is just used to hold what is currently being done by the machine it supports what you are doing or what the end user is doing at a particular time so number four point number four to consider 
when you want to acquire when you want to buy the best laptop computer is so number four number four factor number four point number four to consider when you want to get when you want to acquire the best desktop computer for use either in your office either in your school either in your design office either in your any workstation that you are working on it could be even an automated um, uh, area an automation machine that you want to automate your processes because nowadays computers are being automated to run even the biggest of industrial machines that we have in place so point number four is the hard drives and the hard drives here refers to the uh, the disks like the hard disk which is used to hold things like softwares and applications that are used in the computer. Applications are the programs that mostly are used by the end user to accomplish his or her own tasks. Applications range uh, uh, from Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, Microsoft Web, Microsoft Publisher, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, Corel Draw, even YouTube is an application. Yeah, it is an application. It is a platform that is used, that has been built to enable the end user, like myself, the person using the computer, to communicate with the machine, to communicate with the internet. So applications are these programs that are put in the computer for the end user to be able to accomplish his or her own needs. Other softwares like the operating system, it is a platform inside the computer, inside your desktop, that is like the link between the applications and the computer. It is like the working surface. It is like the working platform. It is the platform where applications run. It hosts the applications. It helps, it mediates between the computer and applications which are installed in the computer for the end user to be able to use the operating systems. Then, of course, we have BIOS, Basic Input Output System, a software deep behind inside the computer which is installed to enable the parts of the computer to be able to communicate, to be able to recognize one another and communicate, like the monitor, to be able to communicate with the system unit, uh, the CPUs, the central processing unit, the keyboard to be able to communicate with the central processing unit, the mouse to be able to communicate with the central processing unit, you know. So basic input-output system is that software used inside the machine to enable it to interconnect and be able to communicate between itself. So hand drives are that hardware parts, hardware parts, and especially that which is used to hold these softwares, like the hard disk, for example. It is that area that is reserved as a store for applications, for softwares like the OS, are the basic input-output system and for you to be able to get the best computer the best desktop computer for your use it is important you consider the hard disk or the hard drives because the hard disk if it is small then it will not be able to accommodate big applications or higher version applications and softwares so it has to be big enough to be able to accommodate them ranging from 500 gb or 1 tb upwards from 1 tb you can be sure that you'll be able to install so many applications and the space is there for the machine to work because in addition to installing these softwares you should it should deliver space kind of a breathing space for the computer for the hard drive for the hard disk to be able to accommodate because there are these uh, memories there is this memory which is or there is this space which will be required for the working 
state when the machine is working to be able to support that working state so it the hard disk should be big enough to support your applications to support the operating system and other softwares and to be able to support the working time of the machine when you are working there is that memory which is required uh, like uh, to support that work which is being done at a particular time you'll see it expanding like for example it means that working space working area working you know uh, uh, units that will support that which is being done at a particular time so number five the other factor to consider is the optical drives optical drives can include things like the cd drive and the dvd drives which are used to read the cds the dvds although this technology is being overtaken by time because nowadays with just usb drives usb ports you can be able to interconnect other devices that can support your working they can even support external dvd drives cd drives that can be used to read your cds and uh, nowadays you it's not that necessary to just keep on burning cds or uh, you know recording data in cds because many of applications are downloadable from the internet so that when you need it even the videos for play you can just download them from the internet at internet and play it from there and if you want to keep the data to record the data somewhere and put it or keep it in your archives you can just do it in external uh, devices like flash disk like the external hard disks uh, or even you just put it in your memory cards and you are sorted though this one does not mean that optical drives are not important there are some there is some data that you might just need or want to record it inside your hard in your side your cds inside your dvds and for this matter you will require or you will need to, to have the optical drives to be able to read that data and record it there yeah number six a factor number six point number six to consider if you want to get the best desktop computer you have the best PC computer, personal computer for your use in your for use in your office, for use in your in your in your home, for use in your workstation, for automation of your programs, for automation of your machines is video stroke graphic cards. Video or graphic cards are kind of peripheral devices, are kind of peripheral hardware or some hardware that you connect to your computer that gives you the best platform for reading videos for editing videos it gives you the best resolution it gives you the best working arena for uh, editing videos for editing graphics or for working on your graphics or for working on your uh, on your videos so when you have a good video card if your computer is not just basic that uh, it is just has basic video or graphic card then you can be assured that when you are working on your graphics that when you are working on your videos you will get the best of the, re the resolution you will get the best of the of the of the work that you are working on before you produce the output so before you produce that output you can be assured that which you are seeing that which you can see being recorded being uh, you know edited be it a graphic be it a video you know be it an image maybe that you just want to output that you just want to maybe communicate with online you are getting the best of it you are getting the best of the information that you are processing at a particular time so for designers for video editors for online uh, you know people like me you know for netizens when you have these best video cards or graphic cards you can be assured this video that you are editing this video that you are working on to put in youtube what you are seeing on the screen about it it is the best it is what you will produce it is what any other person who will use this data will be seeing it will communicate your intentions 
as you've recorded them or as you've edited them. So best video and graphic cards or good video and graphic card in your desk desktop computer is very important. It is a factor to consider. It is a factor to look at. Because at the time when you thought, when you had that instinct that I want a personal computer for use in my home, in my office, you know, then you looked at the need that you have for that computer and said, this computer that I want to bring in my office here, I want it for use in editing videos. I want to use it in editing graphics. I want to use it for teaching. I want to use it for just recording data because I'm operating a college or a school and I want my secretary there to be recording the data there using the computer. I just want it for basic communication. So that one is which that which will arouse the need for the properties that we we'll have to look at before committing your money into buying this desktop computer so that what you will be getting is the best from the money you invested in buying this computer or buying this personal computer machine number seven factor number seven to consider when you are buying or when you want to obtain um, a good desktop or personal computer is external peripheral connectors and peripheral devices are devices that you can connect to your computer later for use example of peripheral components peripheral devices that you can connect to your computer for use is a printer a printer is a peripheral component a magnetic ink recognition machine is a peripheral component. Barcode readers are peripheral components. They are devices which are not exactly part of the computer, but you may need to use them with your computer. For example, a printer to print out information that you've processed that you've typed in your computer for example magnetic ink recognition devices that which reads some write-ups on a certain device on a certain component and can be able to understand that data and give out information about it barcode readers that which are used especially in supermarkets to read the price of items and give you the price for it. They are used mostly in supermarkets or at a point of sale areas, in shops, in hardware, in business premises. Barcode readers, they read the digits about pricing of items and records information about it, including the name and price of the items. So these are very, very examples of very, very components. Other peripheral components, other peripheral devices that you can connect could be even something like an extra memory, extra memory that you can slot in. Yeah? Extra connect, connection of a device, like for example, a connector for an extra monitor. And that's why you'll find Mostly at the front or back of your machine, there is an area you can connect a printer, maybe a serial connection or a USB connection or a parallel connection or a serial connection or could be USB. That's why we have USB ports. That's why we have serial ports for connecting things like printers, things like projectors, things like magnetic ink recognition devices or peripheral components, things like barcode readers. So peripheral or, or when we talk of external peripheral connectors, we are talking of those ports that will enable you to connect an extra item that will be used together with your personal computer when you are using it. Number eight, and maybe the last point, is desktop monitors. 
a monitor is that display area it is the display area that which displays yeah it shows the information that you you are outputting for example when you are you watching a movie from your computer it is that display that is showing the movie when you are typing some information maybe using microsoft word it is that which shows the text that you are typing when you are using excel it is that which shows the digits or the numbers or the text that you are typing when you are designing it is that which displays the image or the design that you are working on when you are working on a video you are video editing it is that which displays the video that you are editing so monitors are very important and the resolution of your monitor is very important the dots per inch that your monitor can display is very important because it enables you to see it is the one that enables you to see uh, whatever you are doing clearly so that you can ascertain yes this is what i'm working on and it is perfect now i can produce it to give it to my end users to give it to my teacher to give it to my customers to give it to my supervisor you know i can now print it i can now print my book it is okay my video is well edited i can now post it to, to to youtube my video is well edited i can now give it for people to watch now this is the video that i wanted to watch and now it is ready so now i can just relax settle down half my popcorns and watch it because my display is okay it is very clear it is not blurred it is not troubling my eyes and this is what i expected to see of it because it is a video i'm sure has been well done and if i have the best display i can be able to get to see it well so the monitor consider the monitor when you want to buy the best desktop computer the best personal computer for your use in wherever workstation in whichever workstation you want to use it on in most cases big monitors are good well it can be small but very well in resolution but of course if it is small it will give you some minute images so consider having a bigger one big enough for your uh, for your uh, for, 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 for your viewing to see whatever that you are doing and depending on the angle or depending on how you want to see your output but big ones with good resolution which are not bulky of course and that's the reason we have we are moving from cathode ray monitors which had the big back those are the cathode rays to flat screens to flat screen monitor it's just like when we used to have the big uh, tvs with bigger bags the cathode ray type of uh, tvs nowadays we have flat screens actually some curved very slim but good display the mechanism is okay we are moving from big computers huge computers filling a room to small ones just sizable enough but presenting you with the best quality with the best ideas with the best uh, you know resolution that you want for your use because technology is changing every day technology is um uh is uh you know changing it is not stagnant it is changing every time it is revolving and we are getting uh some integrated some onboard items than when we had different parts to connect together from different uh, parts and that's why we have even mobile phones nowadays because a mobile phone is a sample of a kind of a computer small enough but having all its items together and working well so for this matter display is very important to consider when you want to buy your desktop or desktop home computer for your use either at home or in office yeah so those are just but a few of the things you can consider but very very important if you are okay if you make sure that before you buy your computer you've looked at then your need 
that you want to use that computer for and the budget that you can afford to commit in buying it if you make sure that you look at the processor of your machine well before you buy it if you make sure that you look at the memory depending on the use that you want to uh, your computer for if you make sure that you look at the hard drive to get the best of the hard drive or hard disks if you make sure that you look at optical drives that are in your machine if you make sure that you look at video or graphic cards that your machine is having if you make sure that you look at external peripheral connectors and if you make sure that you look at the desktop monitors or the monitor for your computer and make sure that is the best that you need then i can assure you you'll get the best machine for your use and you'll never regret these are summaries points but very important that can help you get the best machine for your use and it is for this matter because i know there are plenty of shops of outlets selling computers and computer devices from around the town from around the country from the around the world that can dupe you into buying not the best of the computer that you want because the objective of many sellers is just to make a sale it is for this reason that I have also researched the best shops for you and put them together in this link that I have provided down here for you to purchase the best machine without regretting. I have even shown you, I have even put there the best shops selling the best brands because a brand is also important when you want to buy your desktop computer. You need to look at the brand. There are different brands. We have, for example, Dell. We have HP, Fuelet Packard, we have Asus, you know, we have Samsung, and many others in place, brands, companies, selling computers, or making computers, manufacturers of computers. But many of them, or some, are not the best. The market has not shown good review about it. But some others... There is good review from customers, good experience with customers. And in my case here, in this link, I have even put together the reviews, the experience of customers that they have had in using those machines are put there, or those shops are summarized there in that link when you click it. So on buying from there, you can be 100% sure that you'll get the best machine. So I encourage you to use that link in buying your computers, in buying your devices. I've also provided a link for worldwide shopping from Alibaba. I've also provided for you a link down there for those people who would want to work online. Because nowadays, there are jobs are scarce. And people, and also technology is changing, and people would want to work from the comfort of their office and earn money from the comfort of their office and earn money from the comfort of their other workstations and earn money. The people would want to work extra time, extra hours, even at night and earn money. And for that reason, I've provided a link there that you can use to register yourself and be able to get jobs from online, work on them, earn money, earn extra coins. Actually a lot, even that can surpass your salary and enjoy yourself because you have uh, plenty of money that you can do your own things so i've provided all this down there and i understand because i have a experience about it that it will assist you a lot in getting the best that you want either in working online either in worldwide shopping or in a link for buying computers those that has been well researched and certified with the best brands that cannot disappoint you when working on them or when committing your money to buy machines from them. And for that reason, I know it will assist you. And it is for that reason, I am requesting you, if you've not subscribed to this channel, because from here, we have plenty of information ranging from technical work troubleshooting your machines just in case it gives you problems when working either printer peripheral components like magnetic ink recognition devices barcode readers printers computers laptops there is plenty of information in this channel 
or in, in our channels that can assist you in uh, working out your issues in technology mostly. So I encourage everyone to subscribe, put on the notification bell, so that for every video that is uploaded or information uploaded here, you can be able to be the first to know. You can be able to get to be notified about it. Read it, see the videos, get educated, get sensitized, and be able to assist yourself. Be able to troubleshoot that problem that you have about your technical area. Be able to consult just in case you want information or you want to be assistant on an area that you have an issue about. So I welcome you to watch more videos from our channel, to subscribe, and uh, also you can buy a package down there, uh, you know, membership package, so that you will not be charged for anything and you will be getting all the information that has been released by our team from this channel. We are constantly uploading so many videos. Actually, there are some premiering right now. And if you subscribe, put on the notification bell, maybe buy some package on membership, you can be assured that you will get that information right as it is uploaded and be updated. So thank you for watching the video. Feel appreciated. Subscribe. Share our videos and the channel in different uh, social media platforms like Instagram, like WhatsApp, like Facebook, like YouTube. And uh, we, sh we will appreciate. This is, that's just the little support that we can ask from you. And we will appreciate your effort and um, uh, you are being part of us in this, uh, our channel. So thank you.